Gott noch was zu dieser ersten Predigt sagen. Hier hat er Anzahl von Anzahl for yesterday's activity from number one up to number six. This is the teacher who slapped me. This is the boy who danced well at the party. Number three, Mary is a girl who laughed so loudly when the teacher fell down. Number four, this is my mother who cooks good for the visitors. Number five, he is my brother who bakes good cakes for the wedding. And lastly, this is an old man who grazes cattle in our village. Okay, those of us who did the exercise and fasted, thank you very much. And those of us who failed, no worries, answers are there. You can always write corrections. Okay, we say this week we are looking at which topic? Yeah, conjunctions. And what did we say about conjunctions? What are conjunctions? We say they are words that help us to join two sentences. For example, conjunction. Which conjunction did we learn yesterday? Good. It was conjunction foo. And when did we say we use conjunction foo? We use conjunction foo when we are joining sentences relating to people or when we are talking about people, right? For example, I'm going to give you my sentence and then you join it for me using the conjunction foo. This is the maid. She drank the baby's milk. Can you join the two sentences using foo? Quickly. This is the maid who drank the baby's milk. Very good. And so today, we are going to look at another conjunction called, read with me, where. Everybody say, where. Tell the person next to you that conjunction, where. When we use conjunction where, we use conjunction where when we are joining sentences related to places. Okay, before we do that, can we share the success criteria? What is expected of you? You're expected to use conjunction so and where to construct sentences. I can give the difference between conjunction so and where. Please, can you? And you're also expected to read a story and underline conjunction where. Remember, we are dealing with conjunction where. And the example can be, read with me, this is the most. Another sentence, I pray from it. Could you please join the two sentences using conjunction where? And we shall say this. sentence can be, this is the kennel. Our dog stays in it. Can we join the two sentences? This is the kennel where our dog stays. And we have a very short story that I want us to share and find out the conjunctions that will be in that very story. Quickly. The story is about tit for tat. There, there once lived a giraffe and a fox in a park. They were good friends. Whenever they got time, they used to sit under a tree near the stream and pass time happily by talking on different topics. 
One day when the fox was roaming, he saw, an, he saw nice grapes in the farm on the outside of the stream. As the stream was deep, it was not possible for him to cross it. On the following day when he met the giraffe, he told him about the grapes. The giraffe agreed, agreed to take him on his back on the other side of the stream. After crossing the stream, the giraffe and the fox entered the farm and started eating the grapes. While the giraffe was eating the grapes, the fox told him, it is my habit to sing after having my lunch. The giraffe said to him, don't sing now. Let me finish my lunch. When we go on the other side of the stream, you can sing. But the fox did not listen to him and started singing. On hearing this, on hearing this, owner came running with a stick. On seeing the owner with a stick, the fox ran out of the farm through a hole in a fence and waited for the giraffe near the stream. The owner of the farm started beating the giraffe until he broke the stick. The giraffe ran out of the farm and came near the fox where he was waiting for him. The giraffe asked him to sit on his back before crossing the stream. When the giraffe came in the middle of the stream, he said to the fox, I always take a bath after having my lunch. The fox said to him, please first take me on the, on the other side of the stream and then you can take the bath. But the, giraffe, but the giraffe did not listen to him and started rolling in water. The poor fox drowned in the stream and died. Afterwards, the giraffe crossed the stream and went home. In this way, the giraffe took the revenge on the fox and decided not to keep any friendship with cunning animals like the fox. We should not keep any friendship with cunning animals, otherwise we would get in trouble. Okay, those of us who read with teacher, thank you very much, and I love you for that. Now, according to our story, there were some point actions of which I cannot identify. How many of us can identify the conjunctions which are in the story? But mainly, was there conjunction where? How many times did it appear in the story? Can we use conjunction where? And make more sentences of your own without the teacher's support? Please, I would like you to share with mom and dad if other friends of yours make more sentences, use conjunction where and join the sentences. Is that all right? Now, those of us who read with us and we copied the story down, or oh, I'll give you the time to copy the story down. I will ask you to underline the conjunctions that were in the story. Mainly conjunction where. Actually, you only underline conjunction where. No matter how many times it appears in the story. Right? Okay, let's do the exercise. Okay? Our today's exercise is join the following sentences using conjunction where. This is my village. My father was killed from there. Number two, this is the kraal. Our cows stay in it. Number three, this is the shop. My mother bought food from there. Number four, this is the road. I pass there every day. Number five, this is the office. My sister works from it. And lastly, this is the forest. We get firewood from it. 